Morning everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the spotted eagle ray. You get a few different eagle rays, the ornate um, and a few of the less common ones, but the spotted eagle is probably the one that everyone knows and has seen. Now, the scientific name Aetobatus nari nari. The spotted eagle ray is sort of a diamondy shape, very long tail, and they've got a tiny little finlet, uh, almost like a little dorsal fin, which it is what it used to be, if that makes sense, evolutionary speaking. It's now shifted all the way down just above the tail, sits up like that. They do have spines on the tail, so much like your any of your other skate species, you do have to be very careful. The spine does go into you. Watch some of the previous videos, you'll know what we're talking about. You want to stay away from it. If it does penetrate you, very hot water. It's a protein enzyme poison on there, so the heat actually denatures the protein. Kill, in essence, kills the poison. Back to the, the shape. You've got a light colored uh, bottom, normally white. Top, very, very dark, almost like a royal blue sometimes, with white spots all over it. They have very pointed wings, so diamond, diamond shaped wings. Their face is very similar to something like a duck ball, where they've got a protruding sort of mouth and the eyes sitting on the side, side of the head. Now when it comes to handling them, you want to handle them by the mouth. Um, they do have spiracles on the side, don't put your fingers in there, it's like getting a finger shoved into your lung, it's not a nice thing to do. Also don't pull them by the tail, you can actually break the tails off because it's a lot of weight generally that you're trying to pull. The spotted eagle is probably most known for either being seen jumping out the water or someone having hooked it and being stripped because they are extremely strong fish. They get to about 2 meters in uh, disc width, so wingtip to wingtip which is gigantic. Um, and I think the biggest one I've ever heard being caught is just over 100 kilos. So most of them are smaller than that, but you do get them get them very, very large. In terms of location-wise, on the South African coast, PE North, um, all the way up the coast into Mozambique side, they are predominantly a mussel feeder. So that sort of soft mouth and pr protruding mouth they use to go along the mussel bed and choose which mussel they want to feed on. Once they get that, they crush it with their, their grinding plates and then they obviously ingest the, all the stuff inside the nice juicy bits. So it's actually, you'll, you'll often see them when, you, when you're fishing on points, rocky points, especially on the south coast, north coast, wherever you're going to be. Um, you'll see these big dark shapes coming along the mussel beds and they're actually going and they're picking the mussels they want to eat. They can be quite finicky. Um, but this also leads to one of the main issues with them, which is which I experienced this weekend. You're going to be scratching just for catching a little blacktail, carantine, maybe a live bait or something like that. Next thing, Eagle Ray comes past and finds your little chocker bait that you've put there, too irresistible to leave alone, picks it up and continues to strip you all the way down to your spool. Even on heavy tackle, uh, they are very difficult to stop. Now, so anyone that's done battle with them will attest to this three hour fights. They're very similar to a honeycomb. Um, but almost a bit stronger, so it's going to be a very hot debate topic. Comment down below which you think is stronger, spotted eagle ray or honeycomb. Yeah, you're going to be often catching them muscle baits, are very, very good for them if you're specifically targeting them, otherwise your white chocker and uh, oki type baits like that. They are a tricky one to target unless you know, if you've seen them coming through the area, they'll have an area they like to feed in, so you'll keep coming back, coming back. Um, and then you're looking at nice small baits, so anything on like a 3.0, 4.0 type size hook. Um, obviously, you're going to have to play them a little bit gent more gently because you don't want that hook to now tear through the mouth and things like that. And your tackle that you want to use with them is heavy, but you can't just lock and hold him. He's going to, everything's going to break, no matter what you're using. Um, so yeah. Tackle wise, I'd say your heavy tackle, but you're going to be using small baits. So maybe even something like a muscle bomb or a whole muscle fishing for a muscle cracker and things like that. It's probably going to be your, your best bet for them. And then actually visually looking and finding where they are. Um, another thing about them is you often see them actually jumping out the water. So very similar to like a manta and things like that, that he'll leap out the water and with, his, with his wings flapping. As to what they're actually doing, uh, could be some form of a mating ritual display, um, could just be them having fun, we don't know the, the insights or the, the psyche of the, the eagle ray's mind. Um, some rays do give birth in the jump, I haven't seen this, um, but actually the force of coming back down they can give birth. As to why they do that I don't know, but you often see them jumping on the, in, in the deep. 
coming coming fast. Now our sexual maturity of these fish around about five years, so fairly slow growing. Um, and that's a disc width of about 1.2, I think it was, 1.2 to about one and a half meters. So fairly, a fairly large fish. And that's when they can first start actually producing. In terms of eating quality, they're too beautiful to eat. So just put them back nice and safely. Don't drag them up onto the rocks. Try and, if you can, release them right close to the water. Even if it is one hook, if you have to get close enough to be able to cut the line off to see, so leave the hook in. That is also better than dragging them up the rocks to try and get a hook out. Um, but yeah, careful of the tail. It's not the tip of the tail, remember, it's at the base where it joins the, the ray itself. And yeah, that's about it. If you do land them, uh, respect them. He gave you a good fight, put him back and let him give, do it to someone else. Cheers, guys.